Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, what's interesting is that uh, we talked about it a long time ago, and I actually had totally forgotten about it. And in Windows 10, a lot of you had issues with uh, the Intel um, sound devices. And so um, anybody that had the Intel SSD audio control driver would have uh, either problems upgrading to other versions of Windows 10 at some point. But the Intel Smart Sound technology also prevented all of you that wanted to move to Windows 11 to go to Windows 11. And there's a lot of people that had that. So when you were going to your uh, device manager, a lot of people would go and look at the... Uh, devices for the sound and what would happen with this is that it would show of course that you have Intel Smart Sound Technology or SSD and if you had that here and the sound video and audio or stuff well no Windows 11 was available to you is blocked now Microsoft has finally fixed the issue um, it seems that um, the external block, the block that was uh, done because third-party companies should fix their software and hardware uh, so that Microsoft can actually unblock um, required updating a driver for the most part. So um, they say that now for most users, uh, the block is going to be lifted either if you manually update but they said they are also pushing some of the Intel Smart Sound Technology drivers through Windows Update. So in the case where you have that, uh, you need to check your manufacturer because uh, Microsoft does say for pretty much everybody it's fixed. So if you're on Windows 10, you don't see Windows 11 offered to you, that means you might have a block, and that means that block might be, in most cases, the Intel Smart Sound Technology and then you just you know update the device so that you can now uh, upgrade. So Microsoft is lifting the two-year-old block on this for Windows 11 to finally get into Windows 10 users. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.